Hello and welcome to the Literary Bar. How are you? And what have you been up to? The fuel situation is still hard on Nigerians. And I join my voice with the rest of my fellow Nigerians in pleading with the government to palliate this harsh situation. Well, I have a very mysterious guest today and I'll ask him for a remedy. Hopefully, he will assist in his revelations. So stay put at the Literary Bar and you'll enjoy this conversation. Go grab your cup of tea or any drink of your choice and join me after the break. My heart goes out to the people of Borna State over the terrible flood that was made worse by the overflow of the Alau Dam on the 9th, 10th of September. It's so disheartening to see the good people of Borna State being displaced by the raging floods occasioned by the torrential downpour. Men, women, children look confused over the sad turn of events. Cars and household properties are floating about and some houses are sadly submerged in a watery grave. As if all those were not enough to devastate the community, some wild animals, crocodiles, snakes, have unwittingly been released from the enclosed spaces in the zoo in this deluge. Insecurity in Madugri got a boost as convicted criminals also, also escaped because of the flood. We send our love and support to the people of Borno. It was nice to see the Vice President Shetima wading waist deep in the flood to identify with his home base. And I trust that the action governor Baba Gana Zulum will be in the forefront of rehabilitating the victims of this flood. It's interesting to know that 30 years ago, almost to the day on the 13th of September 1994, a loud dam bust displacing 400,000 families in Maiduguri. And as of today, it's over a million people that have been affected. So really, I send you my love and support from the Literary Bar. Coincidentally, the 16th of September is World Ozone Day as declared by the United Nations. The theme for 2024 is Ozone for Life. It calls our attention to the climate change and our responsibility in making intentional and sustainable changes about how we relate with our environment. So let's protect the environment by doing the right things. Deforestation is happening as people are resorting to cutting more trees for firewood as the cost of gas and kerosene has gone up. We should use cleaner energy, recycle, reuse. Also, let us, be more, let us use more eco-friendly products and avoid ozone-depleting substances. This responsibility is personal and also it needs government support through policies that will protect the environment. When we come back, you will meet my guest, whom I call an African man of mystery. He wrote a captivating article on Ebo, as it is central to his practice as a Babalao in Ifa divination system. In 2008, UNESCO placed Ifa on the list of masterpieces of oral and intangible heritage of humanity. Ifa divination system with its 256 odus or odu Ifa looms larger than the derogatory label of paganism and its adherents are no longer cowering in the back rooms. Young and old, educated and liberal, Africans are carving an indigenous path to God because they are no longer satisfied with the received Middle Eastern religion of Christianity and Islam. I want you to suspend judgment for the next hour and keep an open mind as you listen to this modern and young Babalao. So see you after the break. My guest today is a well-educated professional, Chief Oketola Olamile Komudashu, the Otto Alashe of Isherio Lofing in Awori land. He's also the secretary within Ijo Alagemo of Isherio Lofing. He's an entrepreneur and holds a BSc in business administration from Lagos State University, Lasso. His focus is on management science. Chief is also deeply ingrained in African tradition and culture serving as an intermediary between humans and Orishas. How he's able to do this, he'll tell us. Because at the bar today, we're honored to have a Babalawo in our midst. 
Jifo Ketola will leave the ignorant veil that shrouds Ifa in mystery. I found this article on Ebo Rich and Enlightening, and it has implication on how we conduct our interaction with the Orishas and the Ludumari. Aborua Boye, Chief. Okay, you are welcome to the to the literary bar. Saying Aborua Boye already has, you know, captured everything, every greetings. Okay, okay. It's an education so. for me <laughs> as well. I want to say something quite interesting before we get into this. So, my name is Dibia, all right? Chinedu Dibia. And I grew up with people always trying to poke fun at the fact that my name is Dibia. Because Dibia in Igbo land means native doctor. Okay. And everybody used to make fun that, oh, this person is a uh, babalao. My dad was an engineer. So... And at a point, we got worried, should we carry on with this name, you know, with all the Christian things going on around? And my father said, no, your name is your name and you have to be proud of it. And I grew up being really proud to be a Dibia. I'm still and always will be a Dibia. But I'm happy today that I'm presenting a real life Dibia, but <laughs> Babalawo as it's called in Yoruba. Well, so it's my honor being here. It's my thank honor. you, thank really you. Honored. And um, that name, Dibia, you know, it's it looks interesting. It is, and it even sounds more interesting, more you know, spilling out from your mouth. Yes, you because, because it's more like African. Yeah, it is as beautiful as you. Are. Why did you change your name from Dibia to something you know, Western? Never, I thank will never, I will never change thank my you name. Very much. Thank you so. Very much. That brings me to our conversation. What is Ifa, first of all, before we go into the Ebo? Okay. Thank you very much. I, I would have loved to, you know, to this in that Ifa's language. Go ahead. Go ahead. But you just tell me what it is. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Shion Mukibu Gwarali, Urukomini Babala, Olamele Kon Okitola. Mo yasi or no ifani cook the cook, eh? Dabio don't care dog. Say, I meant I become a babalao probably 15 years ago. No. So, why say ifa? Tabani ifa, ifani or ludu mari. Ifa is simply put the word of God. The word of God. Yes, ma'am. Or ludu mari. Okay, Olodumari and the Orishas, are they um, his... What are Orishas to Olodumari? Are they the same as God and his angels? And um, Olodumari and Orumila, are they the same? Because I don't know if they're interchangeable. They are not the same. Thank you very much. Let me pick the first question first. We mm -hmm. said, what are Orishas? Yeah. Orishas are not angels. Okay. They are not angels. When you say Orisha, let me, let me just, it's a Yoruba name. Mm -hmm. Understand? And whatever you say in Yoruba must have a meaning. Mm -hmm. You understand? You know, when you go to the market, you know, or you want to buy uh, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some, some that are, you know, they are in hole, they are in handy. Mm -hmm. And there are some that are being affected a little bit. Mm -hmm. They call those Esha. You understand? So when you say Asha, Lesha, mm -hmm. and you know, something that is created with specialty, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. has a special creation, mm -hmm. that is what Orisha is called. Okay. And he can through them, get through them, or from them, get to God. Okay. Like like um like the person but let's let's go back because Orisha, every time Orisha I hear like if uh, you, I Orishas come up with if uh, when people are talking about if I uh, say oh the Orishas and, and all that. Or but, but what's an example of an Orisha in the Ifa divination system? Okay, thank you very much for that question. You know, as I said earlier, that Orisha are special made mm -hmm. from God. They are special made. They are, they are the first on earth. 
Mm. They are the first on earth, yes. If I'm not wrong. And mm. there is an Ifa that supports it too, which I will tell you. Okay. You understand? So, the Orishas, Igba, Akonleru, Urumole. You understand? Those are the Orishas. While they are coming from, when they want to come to the health, they okay. are like the messenger of God. The messenger. The saints. So, okay, I hear you say God and this. Where is Ifa in this? Is Ifa a religion? Okay. Ifa is not religion, but it contains religion. Okay. Ifa is not science, but it contains science. All the 256 Odus of Ifa, it's science, but it's not religion. It contains science. But it's not science. So what is it? Ifa is everything. Everything could be nothing if we cannot pinpoint what it is. It's because you don't learn it. That is what that is why it is nothing. It is nothing because you didn't see it. Okay. Once you but understand it, it is something. Nothing becomes something when it is understandable. This is heavy philosophy. Because in philosophy they'll say. You don't know anything. At the end of your life, you come and realize you don't know anything. Thank you. But you're a babalawo. Are you a babalawo to nothing? Yeah. If Ifa is nothing, are you a babalawo to nothing? I'm not saying Ifa is nothing. Okay. Ifa is everything. I said it's everything. Mm -hmm. But it is nothing because you don't understand it. As it is now, it oh, yes. is nothing. By the way, <laughs> we have... <laughs> We have the Okbele yes. before us. So Okbele has, um, everything here is the Okbele, even yes. with this uh, extra. Yes, those are like the messenger of the Okbele. That is how, you know, the messages, it's convey messages through them. So as a Babalawo, you have to go and learn. You have to learn this. It no. just doesn't happen. It doesn't. Like the pastors, you have to go to pastoral school. This is how you come across. More like, more like that, man. You know, that's what, that was why I said it was nothing because you don't understand it. But once you got closer, then you know it is everything. So how, how do we... Okay, you know that we have this issue of us being brainwashed. You know, if people, people from the African traditional religion will say that Africans, during our colonization, we were brainwashed as we accepted the Middle Eastern religion of Christianity and Islam. And then our own traditional religion seemed to have no place. It was moved to the back. So how would you tell somebody who thinks that this is paganism, some mystical thing that they won't understand? Because I will not be able to understand if you tell me it's everything and then, yes. I understand you. Yes. Now, actually, if I is the word of God, as I said earlier. Okay. And you only understand the word of God when you learn it or you have the divide to understand it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if somebody tell you, my beg is nothing. But when you understand how huge that thing is, mm -hmm. then you understand what it is. Okay. Let understand. me start this by asking you again, how did you get involved in this? Because I know you were born, uh, you, were, you were a religious half-caste because Muslim mother, Christian father. So how did you end no, up? It's the other way around. Okay, Muslim Mod father, Muslim father, Christian mother. So religious hybrid half-caste. How <laughs> did you come to this? Well, you know, uh, naturally, firstly, I would say everything in life is predestined. But mind you, mm -hmm. you might not attain your destiny if you didn't work for it. The Kadara. Yes, ma'am. I've watched enough African magic you, to you, know. It's some... African magic that you understand. <laughs> we will get there. <laughs> we will get there. <laughs> because somebody is predestined to be rich and mm. just come to this life and there is this nonchalant attitude take over him and, you know, sit down that I've had, I'll be rich. Mm. Please, you might not. Oh, wow. You might not, yes. So even if it's your kadara or your destiny, yes, you yes. have to work for your not, destiny. Not every premonition that comes to reality. Hmm. 
not every premonition. A premonition is not your destiny. Uh, yes, yes. You know, somebody might, might just give you a kind of, you know, um, how do you say it? Okay, okay. By this, also, okay, even, even a pastor might just give you this prophecy. Mm -hmm. Let me say prophecy Revelation. instead of a, mm -hmm. a premonition. Mm -hmm. Let me say prophecy. Okay. Every, every prophecy doesn't come to reality, you know. Mm -hmm. If you are being prophesied to become rich, and every day you might not. Like some, some, okay, don't let me go there. So when you say me, talking about me, I, my, I, I grew up with my father. May his soul rest in peace. Mm -hmm. He are worried anymore. Mm -hmm. He happens to be a Muslim. He, mm -hmm. he was an halaj. Mm -hmm. you know? Though naturally it was with my grandfather that I lived with most of my life. Mm -hmm. So while there I was a Muslim, I was, you know, my name was Mudashir. I was going to mosque, I knew nothing. I knew nothing about Ifa or whatever. So while there, I was growing up and I, later on, at the end of the, my later days, mm -hmm. met my mom. Mm -hmm. I think I was in GS3 or so. So I met my mom, I went to her side and she was a Christian. We started this uh, church. Should I mention the name? Go ahead, Sir Church. I think um, CMCM, Christ okay. Miracle Church Mission. Okay. At Yasuno Crescent, I think. Mm -hmm. So they moved from Oregon mm -hmm. down to that site. Mm -hmm. They bought the site. So I was part of them. I was going to church. I was very, you know, I understand. It was so, you know, church is like, more like fun. Not it's all like, churches, but ah, no, they want the, It was much, much as fun. Mm -hmm. the, the people the prayer were, were fun. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I was going to church. So while I went out, or let me say, I, we moved from Oregon back to Okoba. Mm -hmm. My mom, my mom's husband, you know, God, he was dead then. He was demised. So we moved from there down to Okoba. And that was where I met another version of life. So it was this Okoba that even my boss, my mentor, I didn't even know him, not until, it, I think something happened. Yes. Something happened that led me to him, that mm -hmm. connected us. Mm -hmm. Though I've become an initiate. I've seen, I've been to Igbodu. That Igbodu is where you become, you have, you know, as in, you know what your taboo is. Igbodu, is that a spiritual place or a physical place? It's a physical place. Okay. Is but it in Lagos or where? Mm -hmm. Okay. Initiate like will that. know it. Not like that. Okay. It's, it's, it's like, you know, where you, in Ifa, there, there are stages to things. Mm -hmm. There are stages, and like now, let me say your olugo. Your olugo is like somebody that you seek refuge. Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay. Like me now, I'm an olugo to some people. Okay. But what led you to this? That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Let me say my intuition. You understand? Mm -hmm. I'm somebody that likes to know things. If I discover this is Another thing, I covet it. No, you were happy in church. I was. And then somehow you become an Ifa worshipper. Mm. What happened? I think somebody somebody said something to me the other day. Said, "Why are we going to church, demonizing the traditionist mm -hmm. and going at the back door to meet them?" Yeah. I think that's what happened. That's a, a scenario of my mom. Okay. My mom was going to church, would take me to the back door. To consult to a Baba Lao. A Baba Lao. Yeah, that, that's that what is called a syncretism, syncretism, when people mix, yes. mix up uh, two different religions. So from there, I started getting closer, getting closer, getting closer, and some, something happened, something struck me. Though I've become a, I've had my Ifa, because I had then that if you go and do it, you become rich. Mm -hmm. just, what, what, what is that? Now, Itefa. Itefa, yes. Itefa is, is another concept on its own. It's part of Ifa. It's part of Ifa, yes. So if you go and do it, is this like uh, Obongo? Mm, no. <laughs> okay, okay. No, I think we should, we, should, we, should, we, should, we should let people understand this now. Yes. Now, okay. This is Itefa. Okay. It's another title on its own. Right. Yes. Itefa is like, you know, you consulting with the spiritual realm to know mm -hmm. more about yourself. Okay. To know what your purpose and have. To know what your do's and don'ts. Okay. The kind of food you eat. Okay. The kind of drinks. You when the kind what of food? What will kill you? 
is it allergy is it it's more like an allergy okay spiritual allergy or uh, Either medical both both spiritual medical you know i i i said something that you know as i am here i'm not just to me the chief uh, okitola or babala okitola that you see it is not this it is not the spirit mm -hmm. it's inside it's it's inside the spirit it is the spirit yes this body is just here to cover the spirit okay that so, is why i can sit down here so you move from your mom going through the back door to talk to Baba Laos and all that. Mm. You know, when you say that, if you look at the average Nigerian, um, they have marks all over their body. Okay. For maybe they've gone to visit and they put some medicine in their body. Um, they put a mark, rub some medicine in there. So most Nigerian, and they get it through this back door consultation of a traditional, uh, this thing. It's, yeah. So maybe they say child, uh, a child is very sickly, so they have to do some okay. marks and infuse the okay. medicine inside. I understand. They put some in the forehead and all that. I understand. And so wait, so how do you get this mark? They just say, I mean, you know, so that is part of, you know, what you're explaining that your mom did. Yes. Mm, not really. Okay. You know, just because I, I am into Ifa now mm -hmm. I'm, and I'm so deep in it. Yes. I'm already a Babalao. Yeah. She understands. So... It, it gives me an insight on so much. Okay. Even no. the known and the unknown. Mm. Okay. She understand. So what you said now about, you know, making some uh, incisions mm -hmm. is like your science. Your what? It's like a science. Science. Yes. It's a science in Ifa, you know. It's something that tackles the spirit. Maybe the, the child is seeing some spirits. You understand? So there are some concussions that will be made. Like an emery? emery? Uh, more like that. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. So that will stop the child from seeing the spirit. I'm learning plenty from this African magic. <laughs> 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 they made their research too. Okay. But it's only that they bastardize the Babalaos much. Mm, we, will, we, will, we will come to that. So I still want to get to the part where you now move from managing Christianity and Ifa and then now openly declaring to become an, an Ifa a follower? The funniest part is that, you know, when I was my mom, I later decided to be a Muslim. Oh, mm -hmm. back again? Yes, back again. And even at a point in time, I was, you know, each time I, well, it, I think it all depends on how spiritual you are. Well, I said that you're confused. I wasn't confused. Because I wasn't. you went from because, Muslim, Christian, back to Muslim. No, I was only going to church because of my mom. Okay. Is that I believe in church or I have this kind of connection with them? No. Mm. Though I, I, I don't, I don't rebook any religion. Mm -hmm. Our religion is religion based on your belief. You understand? Even our constitutions support it. You understand? So, but my, my mind mm -hmm. and everybody that knows me that knows that, okay, this guy is a Babalao, uh, mm -hmm. is, a, is a Muslim. And I bear the Muslim names. It's only my mom. Even at the, mo at the point that my mom decides to let me go, so she didn't force it. No, she didn't so even flog what, it. At what, I know you're still quite young. At what age did you now fully say, okay, Ifa is the way for me? Okay. At a certain age, well, I discovered that <laughs> I need spiritualism. Hmm. Yes. At a certain age, well, I discovered I need to connect with God directly. Don't let our viewers listen to that. Because <laughs> it's something that, you know, has to take a lot of years for you to connect. No, it's, I mean, it's fine. Um, we're spirits, was, like you said. I was, God only, is, I was only joking. Uh, God is a spirit. And then the Christians, I mean, are very open with their Holy Spirit. Okay. And so if, if I, you encountered Ifa um, and it helped your spirit to be at one with God. We we thank God. How do you say hallelujah in Ifa? Adukwe. <laughs> Adukwe. Yes, Adukwe to, to Ifa. But seriously, did you encounter any sort of resistance, the people around you, when you openly declared to become a Babalawo? It's such a heavy name. And I will say that um, the heaviness is due to maybe pop culture. Okay. Because everywhere we look, Babalawos are not very good people. Mm -hmm. 
they are, they, are, they are really not nice. They have this very scary house of horror, you know, with all those statues and things they have to feed blood to okay. all the time. Okay. And again, this comes from what we see in the movies. Okay. How is that acceptable to the Ifa movement when this is the only picture, the sustained picture that we see of Babalawos and Ifa. Thank you very much. Um, these, this particular thing you say, this statement has been mm -hmm. the order of the day. Mm -hmm. And I think we, are, we Babalawos have been stigmatized by that, you know. People run away from Babalao openly. Mm -hmm. But go to the back door when they have problem. Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay, I run a little shop, frozen food shop. Mm -hmm. And that shop is even my mom's. It has been extended for the past 30 years now. Mm -hmm. And I still continue with it. So you can know how, you know, the business management in me mm -hmm. exists, yeah, sustains. Yeah. You, you're a graduate of uh, business. Uh, so, yes. so, so, and I have other outlets too. Mm -hmm. I understand that I manage. So the funniest part is that I want to decide to be a babalao. It's not even me that decided to be a babalao. It is my the, the spirit in me that told me you are a babalao. My the, my odu if I, as I said when you go to Itefa, a odu will be of your own your your personal odu. Out of the two hundred fifty six odu will be your own personal odu. That's one you recited for me. I haven't recited it. My, no. My personal odu. Okay. I there are so many odus in Ifa. You understand? Okay. So, but my personal odu has not, never been recited. My oh. odu is a uh, Awari Dagmo. Okay. Awari Lotun Ogundalo Si. Okay. Is there any odu you can just share with us? Uh, this it, My odu, I've just shared no, my odu now. No, general odu. So odus have to be personal. You can't it's, just have... It's, it, is, it can be general. Okay. I've met people that, uh, that, you know, that owns my odu too. Okay. That bears my odu. Okay. You understand? But our taboos might not be the same. Mm-hmm. Before, before we go and break, I'd want you to just share one or do. Let's, let's see how this, how this works or tell us something a bit about what's before us. The so join us after the break and then we'll see a practical demonstration from the Babalao. <laughs> What's your bad will Welcome back. If you're just joining us, where have you been? The Babalao has been enlightening us so much talking to me and teaching me. Maybe I should come and become an apprentice, uh, Yanifa, <laughs> Abi. But anyways, um, he's going to show us something that a few of you out there may have never seen before, but it's the okbele. So even let us know that the instrument, can I call it instrument? Yes, it's an instrument. Instrument for Ifa divination. Papa Lavo, what is before you 
This is called okbele. Okbele, okay. Yeah, this is part of the instrument a babalao used for divination. Okay. Can you show us? I will. I will. Okay. But I just want to okay. enlighten us more about All right. it because All right. before showing us, mm -hmm. you know, babalao we either use okbele or ikinfa. You and said a spiritual pumpkin. Or what's a spiritual? Can we see it? Is it physical? It's something you can see. Okay. But it has it has to be a personal belongings. Okay. You, you can either leave it to your babalao, which is your oluo, mm -hmm. you understand, or you can have it in with you. So instead of you coming personally, as in coming down for consultation by using this okbele, mm -hmm. it will have to be your ifa, your iki ifa, mm -hmm. that will be used. You understand? That is all we use. That is where the binary uh, uh, figures are being in, inscribed. That sounds so scientific when you say it's, binary figures. Yes. I've never even heard that in any sort of religion. Yeah, well. <laughs> so Ifa, you, you can say Ifa is not religion, it, but it contains religion. Mm -hmm. Ifa is not science, it contains science. So uh, that's why Ifa is everything. Ifa, Ifa taught us so much. Mm -hmm. You know, Ifa is philosophy. Mm. If I is human, if I is God, if I is spirit, if I is devil, if I is angel. Devil, that would be scary. It's not scary <laughs> because it, it's, contain, it's part of us. Okay. You understand? It now depends, but down to those who carry the Ifa. Okay. So Ifa assumes the personality yes. of the person yes, that is the worshipper or the, the babalao? Or the conveyor. Or the conveyor okay so as i was saying now assuming somebody comes this comes in two parts now okay mm -hmm. if, this is yes yes if it, as in two parts what i said is that what i meant is that if somebody's coming to me to ask a question of about yes or no okay mm -hmm. yeah, baba lawo like please help me to ask mm -hmm. i'm going to so 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 please maybe from here to like a very far place is if my going there will be mm -hmm. smooth, mm -hmm. if I'll meet good will there, mm -hmm. and we consult, that consultation will not just be a personal thing, okay? Any lorry body, it will now use this, you know, this is good. What's, what's this? This is like, uh, this is your money that they used to spend. The cowrie, yeah, cowrie. What, yes. what is it called? It is can can I touch it? Yes, can touch it. Is this called owo? All my enemies. <laughs> it doesn't work can, that way, ma'am. Can, can I turn anybody into a tortoise right now? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, like so that. it's called what? It is money. We call it money. Money? Yes, it's the money. Okay. We call it Ibo in Ifa. Oh, right, right. Ibo. So you use it to touch the upper leg. Okay, this is a person. We must have known the person's name. And I, I, I think this should be inculcated in our educational system. Mm hmm if the government wants uh, uh, a productivity hmm. in African tradition now. They want to... It should have been. You know, because we always say that if we follow the traditional way, a lot of corruption would not uh, A lot, a lot of corruption would be... Shongo will strike people down. Shokbono will follow every... In fact, Imaja will, 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 will hit so many mm -hmm. people. <laughs> uh -huh. So we get to that. So can you, can you just... Um, Brace this so people can see. Is it possible? It's yes. possible. Yes. Okay. If you want and to after, talk, you can you, tell you know what? You know what? Okay. Let me, let me let me do something now. Okay. Um. Yawa, if you look closer, that lady, me at the orientation, she she need do dibia. Ola, oni lari ono she ono lafu genifa, and this is how to do it typically. Mm -hmm. But naturally, I'll have to remove my cap or. My not, mm -hmm. I have to remove my shoes. You mm -hmm. know, this is like a respect mm -hmm. to the unknown. Mm -hmm. So mm -mm -mm, this is like saying it is a no. That, that's what. That is where the probability comes from. What's this one? This is a bone. A bone of what? Because it's an animal. Any animal. Yes, any chicken animal. bone. Anything. Any animal. Yes. Enemy too. <laughs> well, it's not just two. Yeah. We have about six or seven. Okay. That we normally use based on our request or our. But I can't touch the other one. You can't touch anything here. It is touchable. Okay. Well, I want to demonstrate for you. Okay. So I say no. Uh -huh. 
You understand? You still touch it like that. Mm -hmm. So you easy to touch the ground. The ground must see it. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. For it to be affirmative. Yeah. So you not place one on the right, one on the left. Either this or you give it to the person that is sick. Mm -hmm. That's six odds for the questions. Mm -hmm. So the person will now share it into two, one on the right hand one, without me knowing. Yeah. So that I should, not even me, this, this should trace my question. Mm -hmm. Are you understanding now? Mm -hmm. So after the, doing that, then the Babalao will now go. The first thing Babalao will do is to Juiba. Juiba is like saying you should accord respect those, mm -hmm. to those who are due. It's, it's an initiate on its own. This is Okmo Ifa already. Okay. That's telling him that you are an owl. And you are an owl. You are saying that I'm calling some spirit now. Olo Muloton, also is a spirit too. Olo Konolosi, it's a spirit on its own. I am going to say that. Another thing entirely. You understand? If I'm on the mat, I will call on that mat. I will tell him what it is. I will tell the mat what it is. Mm -hmm. I will call his indulgence. On the floor, I will call the ground. Then, the wall. Mm -hmm. I am calling them to bear, or, you understand? Yes. So you to know, be a witness. not more like more like you know for yeah. what I'm trying to do to be of uh, a, a truth. Mm -hmm. I don't want I don't want it to be minced. You understand? But, so. but this is very similar to the uh, Islamic tesbi and the Christian and the Catholic rosary. I don't know. Uh, well, uh, you know, and I know, but I don't want to say this. <laughs> okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so. So you now call on probably Iwajo uh, at Iwajo at Iwajo. Mm -hmm. This is like saying the north, south, west, east. Okay. You understand? Yes. And that is why they brought everything up. I told you, Ifa is everything. The Okpala has a Okpoifa, uh, the, the tree. That is another. The, the, that, the that, divine that, tree. Does yes. it work together with this? Mm, it does and it doesn't. Okay. So okay. why I said it does uh -huh. is that it is a, a, an instrument yes. of divination on its own too. Okay. So that is where there is called something called Iyere Rosu. So that will be poured on mm -hmm. the Okmoifa, mm -hmm. you understand, to so make your, that a binary incision or inscription. Okay. Now, now that we've come to the divination proper, this is a time for me to ask you, about something we have all been learning pop culture on Nollywood. Okay. Um, the people making money, blood money, uh, Yahoo Plus. Okay. You know, Yahoo on its own initially was just digital uh, criminality. But well, Yahoo Plus now requires um, sacrifice. Every day when you open the newspaper, somebody has been uh, abducted, hmm. close family, friends, uh, relatives and all of that because some babalawo somewhere said go and get me the human eye the human leg kidney whatever anatomy so that they can do ogwowo is that possible i read by the way that ifa does not like human blood it doesn't want you to hurt people so how come babalawos i'm saying this well aware of the fact that we have fake pastors and fake imams where are they pouring this blood? Whom is accepting this? And people insist that they make money from this. Even uh, Yahoo boys down the east, up north here, Yahoo Plus. They steal women's underwear. They take babies' diapers. Who is accepting this sacrifice from them? Thank you very much, ma'am, for that question, you know. I think this is where we differentiate the Babalaos mm -hmm. and other traditionists. Understand? So there are so many ways of, you know, consulting the spirits. Mm -hmm. Others have their own ways. But when it comes to Ifa, Ifa is the father of Oba Risha. It is the smallest among them and it is their king. Mm -hmm. 
because he learned from every Orisha mm -hmm. and he talks of everything. So when it comes to saying blood money, if I doesn't constitute or doesn't consist or doesn't accept ritual or making human sacrifice, mm -hmm. I've never, I've never, during my course of learning in Ifa, at least 15 years back, I've never had a scenario or a case of human body being used for Ifa initiation or whatever. No. Even if I forbid such. So, so, so how, well, how did this narrative uh, uh, start? And I how come you've not complained to the Nollywood people that they should change the narrative of um, this ritual, uh, whatever, which at the end culminates in somebody running mad, but mm -hmm. they've given this impression we're catching 14, 15 year old children, boys mostly, who are doing blood, blood money ritual because a babala would told them that. You know, if, if, I, if I want to delve into that, uh, I'll have to make a comparison. And that comparison is what I'm trying to avoid here. Comparison between what and Between what? the religions. I wouldn't. Because when you say, are you referring to the Nollywoods and other, thing, mm -hmm. other African magic movies, you know? I intend to say, I think I was very young when they did uh, a film. It was titled, can I mention the sure. title? I think Ajoke Ashewoto Remeka. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. And the Muslim society came up, dragged the lady, mm -hmm. and they have to change the name. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, but Babalawos doesn't. Why? We believe, we believe in Ewo. What does that mean? Ewo is like the taboos. Okay. Taboos said, don't fight for me. All oh, right. I will fight for myself. Mm. And I think now, you can see that taboos fight for us. You can see these young Babalawos coming up on social media. Even should be, social media is now becoming an avenue for Babalawos to, you know, to put themselves out there. Oh, why not? They are putting. Are you, are you not? Yeah, you can see young Babalawos. They are coming out if if any anybody now mm -hmm. say any rubbish or, or the rubbish ifa or the traditionist they give them instantly now this young baba laos at least he said you don't want baba lao in what they call on pana debore and it is these your children that are coming up becoming baba lao associating with the baba lao trying to marry a baba lao and that is what is going on now the world is changing and it's changing in multiple, not addition now, mm -hmm. multiple. So, so is there a solution if you say that the Babalawo, I would like to believe, is there an association of Babalawos? Ah, uh, there are, there are. So how not come they are not, there are. Um, how come they are not speaking against this? I have, I have seen pastors talk, talk against some bad practices. I've seen Imams, Alphas talk about it, but I've not seen a Babalawo come out to say that this thing people are doing is alien to the Ifa divination system. It's not correct. No. You, thank you very much, ma'am. People understand there is Ifa, and mm -hmm. most of the time they are not referring to Ifa. What are they referring to? They are referring to, to my best of knowledge, the Olorishas. You understand? And Ifa is part of Olorisha too. Because yes. Ifa is the king of Olorisha. Yes, yes. That's why I asked that at the they beginning. Don't, they don't even come to Ifa or Babalao directly. No. They don't come to Babalao directly. Because they, they know nothing of it. They, they see it as nothing. And it is nothing to them because they don't understand it. Okay, you mentioned uh, Olorishas. I, um, <clears throat> they have various levels in this Babalao thing. There is the um, Elewe Omo, Adam She, Onishegu and uh, Babalao. So how, how is that ranking done? In terms of people being charlatans and doing these things, uh, it's not ranking. It's you can call it their business and their religion. Okay. You understand? Orisha is a religion. Mm -hmm. Okay. A way to connect to God. But there are multiple Orishas. There are multiple. There are multiple Orishas. Okay. Somebody even, can even worship the to water, and then that they will yes, have an Orisha for yes, water. Yes. Yes. And it to you know meet God. Okay. Right there. You understand? They are prayers. God is a God of yes. doesn't say no. It's a God of yes. Uh, and Amrabah will say, okay, I want to go and rob that person. At least it will pray to God. 
Mm -hmm. You should pray to God. And God say yes. Why did he say no? Yeah. So that God, that, that God, that mystery God is a yes. To everything. Mm -hmm. Night said, I want to become night. He said yes. They say, I'm going now to God because they say yes. Okay, have you ever asked yourself, how do we call this water? Who told us this is water? Mm -hmm. It is the Orishas. Who told us this is this? It is the Orishas. So the they Orishas name everything. do the, is Eshu an Orisha? Hmm. That one, a, that one, that one, the devil. devil. <laughs> <laughs> is Eshu the devil? Let me, let me take water for that. <laughs> because it's, it's another concept on its own. <laughs> Okay, maybe we'll take a short break while we allow Babalawo to digest the water and then tell us what he wow. has to tell us. <laughs> okay. Okay, ma'am. You are back. You digested your water. So is Aisha the devil? <laughs> or is he an Orisha? Um, should I call Aisha? And Orisha definitely is not a devil. Okay. It's not a devil. But you know, again, in pop culture, for lack of another um, um, name, Eshu is seen as a devil. Okay, maybe they don't know another name for it. Okay. Or, uh, or what they, they term as devil, they don't know a name for. Is there a name for the devil? In Ifa? Ifa doesn't recognize anything called devil. So there is no evil. If I recognize evil in um, in the person, I think a Quran warning. In a Quran warning, if I speaks about what is that? That is an old do. Okay. You said there is two hundred fifty six old do. Yes, Ivy, yes. As you know, I've I've, I've so, to recite one. Ah, uh, this is I'm rec I've yes. recited about two or three years. That's, of that's it. your personal one. Okay, this is okay. another one entirely. Mm -hmm. A Quran warning. Mm -hmm. About Ebo, how did Ebo come into? I will, yeah. I will, I can't. We'll get, we'll get so, to Ebo, yes. So, Okonawari said, let me see, let me see, Okonawari, that it has, it, they, it says, so, says so many things, mm -hmm. you understand? But I want to pinpoint to yeah. one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I need Bo Shiri, Bo Shiri, Ara Relu Shifu, Ara Relu Shide, Adiva Fweki, Omwalara, Bo shiri, bo shiri, ara relu shifu, ara relu shidi, adia fui ka mwa jiru. Bo shiri, bo shiri, ara relu shifu, ara relu shidi, adia farinu, omu agmoni ri, gwono karan lebo ni kwa shi. That is where bo comes in. I farinu ni kwa ni vishe leng di shebo, wani farinu o, ili rika, o loro ni kwa ni mani tin si wu. I am very sure you don't understand what I just no said. No <laughs> But I love hearing it. You said if I is poetic, so I'm, I'm just... It's more like poet. I'm just enjoying the, the poet. Yeah. The poetry, yeah. yeah. So it, it, what I just said as, as uh, uh, a story, mm -hmm. a very big story that, you know, like this, it's from this, if I, an Odu can make 10 stories, if all these are artists go mm -hmm. into the wisdom of Ifa, go through the... <laughs> They, they, I think they won't lack in writing themes. Because mm -hmm. that, and I think that's what they should have done. Stop them. Why, why can't you, the Babalawo Association, start to do even short films to educate people? Do we have the time? Then, do then what is your work? Are, are you not interested in, you're, you're a mediator between Ifa and people like me. Esma. So you can educate me, you can es invest in educating me. Uh, excuse me, ma. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to listen to what I'm about to say now? Yes. You know, you advised me to switch up my phone. Uh -huh. Yes, technology. And, mm -hmm. Okay. Before, I, I, while we were together, at least we spent like two hours together. Yes. How many calls have I had, you know, quite, quite for a consultation? Lot. Quite a lot. Quite a so lot. You so, work, yes. so now, 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 um, I zoom. I'm at my office. Would mm -hmm. I even have a time mm -hmm. for any form of association mm -hmm. or whatever? Mm -hmm. So because you, if, if, if you are good, if you know what you're doing and you are real, mm -hmm. you see people flood mm -hmm. your doorstep. Yes. And that's just what it is. At times, I don't have time for myself. Mm -hmm. At times, I just close everything and go home 
I don't want to spend a day at home with my kids and others. D does it bother you when people come with certain requests? You know, I was telling you that we seem to run to Ifa because that's what we're talking about now for everything. Should I go? Should I come back? Should I go? Does it make people lazy spiritually when they always have to recourse to Ifa to guide them on everything? Like some Christians do. Oh, you meet somebody you like. I've introduced someone to somebody and before even reaching out to the lady, he had to take her name to the, um, to the church, to the pastor and all that. And I said, why can't you just get to know her character? I said, I need to know ahead of time what the future portends for us. Only my pastor can, can tell me that. So does it make us lazy spiritually? Thank you very much for the question, ma'am. I, I doubt it makes us uh, lazy spiritually, you know. Uh, there's nothing bad in you knowing what the future holds. Mm. You understand? There's nothing. So that, that, that will teach you how to lead your way, how to walk your path. You understand? So what are the things that need to be done? And that is where it ever comes in. You understand? There are some people that, you know, they're, they're anxious to make money. Mm -hmm. You understand? While what their future holds is they make money at the the later day, and like let me let me recite one of my old my mm -hmm. old for you, mm -hmm. which is Awani Ogunda. If I say Pandora, she will kill you. Obati wa nille, Obaso dushulo. I dare for you that we shall see. Number one, this if I has told me personally that it's when it is at night mm -hmm. that everything you want will come in handy. Yes, ma. Have you ever seen moon comes up at day? Eclipse. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even eclipse does, doesn't come up in, in the morning. Yeah. Uh -huh. It will be around probably six, mm -hmm. five. And the, the, did you see a uh, sun comes out at night? Mm -mm. So there is time for everything. Yes. So they, they, make, they went to make consultation mm -hmm. while on, in heaven. That is why it befits them. Hmm. Do, do you know that this, our eyes has been somewhere before staying in this spot? No. Uh -huh. So it's <laughs> Baba <Lawi. laughs> that can tell you. Do you know the, spirit, the most spiritual part of our, our body that doesn't even need to come with our body? Our mind. Our mind care. No. That is our head. Our head. That is the most spiritual. Okay. Even the Orishas are afraid of. So we are powerful beings. Very here. powerful. But since we don't know. That is it. Do you know what? I told, I told some of my friends, you know, that the beautiful part of being a, 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 a going to church or going to mosque, if, if, is if we, you know mm -hmm. that having spoken to God, you are very sure of the fact that God has answered. Mm -hmm. Or God have given you his response. Mm. Okay. That would have been the best part of it. But it is the Father will tell you. Wow. That this thing that you are, he has done it. Hmm. Amazing. Okay. God. Mm. This conversation is amazing. So I need to, okay. Um, I told you earlier, I shared an article with you previously when um, men, it was released that one out of four children at least do not belong to the husbands at home. And Babalawa was saying that there are traditional ways to determine the DNA of a baby so that um, men do not feel duped. Is that possible to do DNA traditionally? And following that, you measure that if I doesn't like people cheating on their sp spouses or partners. Yes, ma'am. But if far from what we think, it's supposed to be a polygamist or supports polygamy. Again, pop culture, most Babalawas seem to have multiple wives, and they tend to give women who come for consultation a <laughs> <laughs> So, So, how, how does that work? You're doing good. You've, you've uh, watched most of uh, the. <laughs> 
I must yeah. tell you that. We are very close <laughs> to this uh, African magic of Yes, yes. But I must tell you that I have a degree in African diaspora studies. Wow. Um, I did my master's in that. And part of my courses there cool. was African traditional religion. That's so I'm giving a shout out to Dr. Ishola. My other um, lecturer, unfortunately, has passed away. He was... Wow. And I down share Baba Lavo. Ah, yes, Professor. Yes, Professor uh, Orimo Gunje. Yes, they wow. passed away two years ago. Yes. Oh. So, so I, I know what I'm talking about. So the, your question was uh, traditional DNA. Traditional DNA and uh, the polygamy in the, Ifa. Yes, the cheating. The cheating. Yes, you said um, Ifa doesn't like men cheating. Okay. Now. And women. And women. women too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, there, there is a DNA, mm -hmm. in fact, but it's it's only that <laughs> it's very detrimental to to the life of the baby. The baby. Oh, they understand. It's mind. Uh, it's like there are so many ways, though. Though, don't let me use that word detrimental. Mm -hmm. you understand? You know, there are so many ways to you know make the consultation or to know if that child is yours. And probably the Ifa worshippers though, as an Ifa worshipper you must know if you are very close to your Ifa. Ifa will not cheat you, will not let anybody cheat you. In fact, mm -hmm. it won't. So what, what basic way, what basic test can we have for traditional DNA? Uh, there, 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 there are so many ways, you know, even in uh, 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 oro, they call it oro. Oro is like the right, R I T E. You mm -hmm. understand? There's different oro in Idili. They call it oro Idili. That is a like a clan right. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that that negates that uh, 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 bastard. It's mm -hmm. negated. Mm. Well, illegitimate kids, because there's nothing like a bastard anymore. If a child has a mother and a father... It, it is a bastard during... If, okay, if... <laughs> no, uh, okay, let me let me use a, 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 yeah. a, a, a legitimate or, mm. or a biological... Biological child, yes. Biological, than, yes, yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, because every child is a legitimate... Illegitimate child, yes. Uh, so, you're right. A biological so child that, to the that, that bastard is... Uh, let me say I'm sorry for it, because every mm. human is a human. Yes, And every child is a deserved... To be on earth, yes, you understand, yeah. either yeah. by mistake or mm -hmm. by the major lines, you understand. Mm -hmm. So there is a way you call it oral to know if the child is a biological uh, son or daughter of the clan. Mm -hmm. You understand. So there is a very there is a laid down right that to be done, and it varies from one uh, background to the other, mm -hmm. as in our clan from the other. Unlike our, in in our own own tribe now, uh, let me say in my own clan now. I am a la mm -hmm. She understand in the Sherlofi. And a is like uh, an Orisha in its own. Mm -hmm. She understand. So through that a we tend to know what, if that child is a biological or not. There are some ways that, that our forefathers do. That's what you said about floating. Put the child on the wall. Uh, that is that is another thing. That's another aspect. Of, as, as, DNA. Uh, yes, yes. It's a DNA. Mm -hmm. It was done for my daughter. Hmm. Uh, our mother was even afraid. <laughs> she was even crying. <laughs> and my daughter floated on the water. I, I was surprised. What happens? You place the child on top of it. It is. It is a very. Is it a pool. basin or swimming pool? Swimming pool. Okay. Ah. It's in a very big river. A very big river. There is this old woman that. You know, collected the daughter. I didn't even know that was all they intended to do. They collected the daughter from my wife, and I wasn't even around. I was just come that I should come over. That I think she thinks they are doing something for her daughter. Ah, what? Okay, I just came over and I saw that woman. She happens to be my grandfather's wife. Okay. So she now took my daughter to almost at the middle of the river, a very big river, ma'am. She now placed it on the river. And she was baffling. She placed it there. She was baffling. I was like, hey! And my dad said, yeah, they are doing oral for her. I shouldn't worry that. They will both come back. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he said that the child is legitimate. It's your blood. Wow. If that child is not her blood, I don't know what would have happened, though. I can only imagine how many I can't even imagine. children that have sunk. I... Innocent children. And that, that is why they demonize. They stopped that, I hope. Yes. I think they've stopped it. 
the demolish it, yes. And they have, they have been abolished. Okay, I'm sure they'll find um, other ways. You know, so so that's the thing. But that sounds I, really, if really I, if mean. I can, if I can, you know, show us if it has been simplified the in the final. Okay. Yes, okay, okay. I'll tell you. Okay. Even, even after the child has been born and you brought, you, every child of Babalao, there's something called Akosejai or Atesejai. That is, that is, you know, after the third day of the child's birth, mm -hmm. you bring it to your Olugo, then there are some rites that will be done. You understand? Mm -hmm. That will tell you what the, the purpose of the child on earth. Mm -hmm. It will mm -hmm. tell you. <laughs> you don't need to stop the child, what the child should eat and what not. I have, a, I have, I have a, my last one doesn't eat fruit. Fruits. Yes, she's okay. going to. She's four over four years now and doesn't eat fruit. Four and yes, she doesn't. She okay. doesn't. She doesn't even taste it. Because her. her I don't know how that thing works. I don't okay. know. Okay, so she will avoid. No, if I told me that she doesn't eat fruit and while she was growing, she doesn't. I even forced that idea. She doesn't. She vomited like. That's not what she's supposed to eat. So going back to Ifa telling men or women the problems in polygamy okay. or not um, marrying more than one wife or being faithful to your partner male or female okay yes if i if i spoke extensively on that too mm -hmm. extensively so if i advised one man, one woman and a man one spouse, man one yes. woman even where oromila itself married more than one you know they create cause Mm -hmm. They create chaos in his life. Okay. They tormented him. Mm. You understand? So you now have to like every able, every able, uh, you know. Okay, I, 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 as I, as I told one of my students, mm. I said there is never a solution without a problem. Okay. Every solution out there mm -hmm. brought about a problem. Yeah, we, we will, but this, you were telling me that one wife, um, Ifa has a word for that, two wives, uh, I want to hear that. Mm -hmm. You know, Yokumeji, mm -hmm. if I spoke about this, you mm -hmm. know, if I said, mm -hmm. you know, if I said, mm -hmm. you know, if I said, 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 so if I spoke that, if I, what I was telling is that uh, uh, the beauty part of a man's uh, mm -hmm. or a, a marriage is for you to have a wife. Mm -hmm. When it becomes two, they bring problems to your life. Mm -hmm. When it becomes three, the problem multiplies wow. and uh, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So that was what if I was telling you about. You understand? Wow. wow. I even had, 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 had uh, a client yesterday that mm -hmm. had forewarned of mm -hmm. uh, his uh, 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 fornications. Mm -hmm. If I warned him. Hmm. African men will not be happy with that. Oh, they should. <laughs> if I warned a woman too. Yeah, well, I know how African, because they keep saying, oh, we're African men, so no. this, is, this is how it should be. No. Um, though, though uh -huh. if there is... Uh, 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 an agreement. Not yes. even agreement. If 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 there is a reason for you to marry, mm -hmm. or if you are predestined to marry yeah. two or more than two, mm -hmm. you know the woman will come your way. There is no how. And mm -hmm. it will, and with Eboruru and Ifa, everything will go smooth. Okay. No problem. As as we round up, let us go back to the topic of okay. this conversation, which is Ebo. Okay. What is Ebo? Now that, you know, people understand a bit more about um, Ifa and the divination, the conversation is just so much, it keeps um, going round and round. But I know that everywhere um, I go, because I've, I've been, I spent more time in Yoruba land than anywhere. Oh. So you come to Ibute Meta, and I it, met her place, and then you see this bowl with food and all sorts of things. That is an Ebo. Is it at, at a Ibute Meta Junction or can, or, be, but can, be, can anywhere. be anywhere? Yes, so you see, what is the purpose of putting out this food secretly and most in the middle of the night that it's not meant for human consumption? So what is an Ebo? Thank you very much. Um, as you extend your art field, mm -hmm to the people of uh, Borno earlier, mm -hmm. if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Now, if I s 
there is a, an, a, an a Ifa recitation, a verse of Ifa in, a, I think it's a, a one shogbe, I think. Mm -hmm. A one shogbe. Ifa said, uh, let me remember that Ifa recited, because there are so many Ifa that said it. Mm -hmm. Ifa said, Agada Gudugba, Adiva from Alausa, Etitin Sheboti of Eshuje. Okay, no clue. <laughs> <laughs> because when I said, What is issue? Mm -hmm. uh, what is evil or devil? Mm -hmm. Issue is just like that, your, let me say, it's, it's um, mischievous. Ikasai is a mischievous, but like now, your custom officers. You understand, like mm -hmm. your custom officers, whatever you're bringing in, bad, bad reputation. you have to. <laughs> it's not a bad reputation, it, it no, no. has a bad reputation. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. But that's have. how we see it because it I've doesn't, been it doesn't. It issue is, issue is, issue is okay. What, what Babalao is, let me say, Babalao is doing able to issue, okay. Like, anyway, just tell me what's able, <laughs> able and able to do. Um, that's what I'm going to, ma'am. Yeah, mm -hmm. now if I if I said able. That the Alausa, what, what you say, Ausa? Mm -hmm. You should understand Ausa. Mm -hmm. Ausa people does not rubber. Mm -hmm. So if I is telling us that mostly the Ausas are being infected with natural disasters. <laughs> and if you no, no, if I okay. said it. Okay, if I knows everything, yes. If I said it. I did not follow Ausa to share, but you should do. Alausa is doing, they are doing a ball in their own way, but they are not giving it to a shoe. Okay. They are leaving a shoe. They do sadaka. I think that sadaka, is salaka. So many things. So they are leaving a shoe behind. Mm -hmm. That is why he said, Ebo, Ebo, a shoe, my lord. I said, Oh, no. It's a must. They must do Ebo. It's a must. Ebo, a shoe, my lord. You know, how, how do I put it? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's like something that, uh, uh, an issue. Mm -hmm. A very big issue that you must. So if you don't give it to him, it will stand on your neck. Yes. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So that's what that's what Ebo is. And in Ebo, let me say, there are so many definitions for Ebo in Ifa. Mm -hmm. There are so many Odu that uh, uh, cite the efficacy of Ebo. So it's, it's Ebo, because I always say this black pot with soup, egg, and whatever. Must it all be the same thing? I smile. Excuse, excuse me. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. A babala who doesn't carry a boat to the Orita Meta or whatever, or else, or unless, if mm -hmm. the Ebo insists on going to the Orita Meta. Okay. Mostly, babala who's have issue at the back of their house or somewhere very close to their house. But the people who drop it. So I think those you, are the You ones instruct these. them. No, 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 no. Okay. No. Oh, okay. No. Do you think these are Muslim brothers doesn't do that? Or the Christian brothers don't that, do that? That's why I talk about syncretism. So, when people mix up religion. So, okay. So, so you as a Baba Lao, you do not instruct people to no, take a boat to. No. It is up there. I will tell you where everybody is going to. Everybody can be, some people can go to the rivers. So what is the purpose of that Ebo? Let's just give us a final word on what Ebo really is, and why we should do Ebo. Let me let me let me let me use the uh, let me define Ebo simply. Let me simplify it through Yoruba's mm -hmm. uh, language. When you say mm -hmm. Ebo, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ani Aru Ebo is like saying um, you are trying to wear off bad omen. Mm -hmm. You understand. You are trying to find solution to a problem. Okay. If something bad is happening now, and a rude boy now, Ebo is a very deep Yoruba language. Mm -hmm. Ebo is sacrifice. It's not charms. It's not charms. No. There are charms and there is Ebo. There is Ebo. There is charms. They both work in hands. Hmm. I understand. So Ebo is like saying, okay, now what I did today now is tantamount to saying a rude Mm. Because I sacrificed my time for coming mm -hmm. down here. Okay. Because I don't know what might happen if I didn't come. Mm -hmm. okay. Understand? Yes. So you coming down here to make ends meet, mm -hmm. you're sacrificing. Yes. Arubo. Yeah. But that your high boy is personal. 
It's not for mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. When it comes to issue, Ebo is it has to contain some things that mm -hmm. some major things. Okay. Which is echo. Right. Which is coming. Is it coming? Echo? I just tick, we tick know pipe. we are Nigerians, we know echo. Uh -huh. yes, so echo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So uh echo pamoy okay. and yerosu. Or iye pele. You understand? Mm -hmm. Agbora ye pele si ebo. <sighs> <laughs> so if I, it's not something you can just learn in a day, or you can summarize in an hour. Yeah, and a lot of white people have written books about Ebo. One of the biggest books we had in the in library at IEDS, Institute of African and Diaspora Studies, Unilag, it was actually written by, by a white man. A white big, man, I had. Big, big black book. So anyway, um, Babalawo, we cannot leave without asking you to please pray for Nigeria. Okay. And um, please... Invite if I <laughs> use the tools and say a prayer for Nigeria as we come to the end of the program. Well, well I this are, are we going to get better? Is Nigeria going to get better? Surely I should be optimistic. Ah, you're sounding like a politician now. No, I'm not a politician, mm -hmm. but if I talk about politics too, ah, okay. Anthropology. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me not even go further. I know people, <laughs> they're your clients, right? People who come, they're clients. You call them clients or customers. I, I, I don't even know what to call them. But though, they, they could call, they're called patient. Patient, okay. I guess they're coming for a resolution to yes. something. So please, a prayer for Nigeria. And, um, Do you know the problem? With we, human, mm -hmm. we just think we pray. But it is not prayer. Okay, what, what is it? It's just, we're just saying. Okay, let's say something for Nigeria. Say <laughs> we're just saying. Positive, uh, yes. So, just saying positive, and you don't know if that positivity is being speak, granted. Speaking to Nigeria. If, I'm to, if we want Nigeria to be good, mm. our government should lead their ways in tradition. I support that. If they do, ma'am, Nigeria will be better. Ah, you know, we've come to, <laughs> we're rounding up, but these days we're seeing people go to villages, carry uh, chiefs and uh, ballets and obis and all that, people who are custodians of our, you know, traditional worship system. And Shokpono or Amadioha does not strike any of them dead. Mm -hmm. So what happens, right? Is it that we have, we no longer have respect for um, our yeah, traditional worship system and we have reduced their power or what? Yeah. But anyways, we won't, that, you must come <laughs> back. So please <laughs> say a word for Nigeria and then say it something good for Nigeria. Well, if I would marry, I would Nigeria, I would like to marry, 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 only, 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 I would like to marry, I would like to marry, I would like to Eku ile wa ma kebi eku eja ile wa ma kebi eja eh omo eniyan a ma fun be omo eniyan eya ma kebi eye o a ni subuda nu o eh a ni ri unti o ko wa leru mo o tori gbogbo to wa nle yi o ko wa leru ni o se nko wa leru ni olodumare olodumare wa fun wa ni ogbon imo ayo ta ma fi dari wa o mm ifa kon ni ninu ese okonran meji Oni oye ki mu 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 koson ara kuru kuru ta mo mo nkan le ako aparo abo aparo won o lagbe lori son son no adiba fun lo fin ti ranu ite ana se ara ro gede okan bi mo sogbon la kaka la ni dide bo lo ni kan wa se won ni ko ni dudu agbududu barapetu ifa awon ami ka lo barapetu won ni ko ru pa 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 barapetu ifa oba mi ka lo barapetu won ni ko ni fun agba ofun Barapetu, if I have a call of Barapetu, on a calam, I buy, yeah. Barapetu, if I have a if I buy Bobo Niger, about a canoe about you, Bobo Ton Jam, Ton Jacby, Ton Jacby, Ton Jacmo, you Ton Jedam, no, you are if I look to marry or Rumila, you buy a cool about you, I will be a year or no, last year look to marry, last year Rumila, last year Risha, ah, she, ah, me, ah, me, ah, me, ah, me. Thank you so much, Chief. I deeply appreciate your time. I know how busy you are. 
and it's quite a sacrifice for you to be here today. So you give us an ebo of your time. <laughs> so once again, I send love and prayers to the, to the people of Borno and Kafanchan as they deal with displacement occasioned by flood. Thank you for watching. And remember that the bar is always open. Make your life a great story. My name is Chinidu.